Hey guys, welcome in to the edited version of the Social Security Administration arrest video. The live stream was three and a half hours. I got this one down to one hour. It's long, but trust me guys, this is an hour of action-packed, nonstop, disgraceful tyranny. Uh, it's a very educational video as well. It's a banger and a half. This is the best video that I've ever done, guys. So make sure you like this video and share it. Let's get this out to as many people as we can. A lot of people need to see this video. Uh, also, only 28% of you guys are subscribed. So if you've been here for a while, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really helps the DMA channel a lot. And one last thing before we get to the video, guys, Chili is in this video. And as a lot of you guys know, Chili and I do have our differences, right? Uh, but this video is not about that, okay? This video is about activism, okay? And by watching this video, you would never know that Chile and I have a disagreement, okay? Uh, so this video is about coming together as free Americans in the fight against tyranny, all right? So with that said, enjoy the video, guys. Can you take that outside, sir? Fix that outside. Don't, what are you doing? You can't block my camera, man. Yes, I can. Don't touch me, bud. What are you doing? Hey, don't touch me, bud. No. Hey, no. don't touch me. Get don't touch me. What are you doing? Don't touch, don't touch me! Don't touch me! I am! Sir, you're pushing me! Don't touch me! What are you doing? It's a federal policy that's enforced by a federal law. So the policy is enforced by the federal law? There would just be a law. There wouldn't be a law to enforce the policy. Here I go, guys. Ready? They're gonna arrest you, man. Ready? We're now for? under arrest. They're arresting I'm under arrest, guys. Come back here. I'm under arrest. Come back Keep rolling. Keep rolling back on. I'm under arrest, guys. Hey, guys. Never met your audits, aka my high auditor, aka right here. We're here today at the Social Security Administration. Can you check it out? I'm here with Can't You Read, aka Sweet Tea. I wanted to do this one for a while and I just saw the Bay Area Transparency one so it uh, motivated me to uh, to do it so let's go check it out guys. How are you doing? Yes. Hey, How can I help you? I didn't ask for help yet. Okay well you're on federal property I am allowed to ask. What are you... How can I help you? How about the private property? This is public out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yes, you're allowed to videotape outside, not inside. Not allowed right. to videotape inside? Yes. Okay. Because special requirements because of people's personal information. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So you're just out here recording? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Have a good day, man. All right. Hey guys, so they were telling us we can't record in here, guys, right away. So we're just going to mob right in. Can't come right. in here. Yeah. That's, that's illegal, bro. People's personal information. It's illegal to record in here? Yes. Um, without my consent, it's illegal to record me, yes. What's the CRS or the CFR, you know? What? Huh? Hey, don't worry about me. Worry don't about worry about me, man. Okay? Mind your business, bro. You guys, you guys can't come in here. Hey, right? don't touch me, bud. No, yes. We are, I will advise you. You're allowed to outside. Hey, so. back up. On, don't touch me, bud. What are you doing? Hey! Oh! Yep. What? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Right. Hey, not you're not allowed right. to touch me. You don't have authority over me, sir. Okay. Your right. job is to observe and report. Don't touch me. That's bad. No, it's not. Yes, I, it is. I invite you. You can record outside. Yeah. And now I you're can't inside. Record in here. And oh, you're mistaken. Yeah. Don't touch me. You don't have authority to put your hands on me. I'll tell the police that that he was recording me as I was. Okay. Out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, so you need to start moving out. Touching and assaulting him too. Social security. Assault. I got you on the Eight thousand South Park Lane. I got First Amendment auditors. 8,000 South Park Lane, Self Security Office. I have First Amendment auditors. He's got his back in his corner. Yeah. Yeah, you're free to leave. Free to and you were already told no, that you, you cannot record here. inside. You cannot record in here. What's the law with the CFR? I don't have to give you this. No, package. they're on our premises. There's no law that says we can't record in here. Yes, it does. Did you tell me the CFR. You have to give us the CFR. Because of the special yeah. search that, because yeah. we have per people's personal yeah. information yeah. inside, yeah. and you cannot come inside. Yeah, you're mistaken, man. No. Nope. Yeah. You're absolutely mistaken. There's a 2018 department. Yes, I know. Policy. I've already been briefed about this. That's why I told you you can record outside, not inside. Well, you and so you were already advised. You need to show me the you CFR. Yep. And when the police come, I'm going to press charges on okay, you. Okay, that's fine. Right. You can't put your hands on me, man. Yes, I told you you have to leave. You can't put your hands on me, though. 
You don't have authority. You're a security guard. You're not a police officer. You don't have authority. Put your hands on me, man. What's wrong with you? Can you just come up and touch members of the public? You're a security guard. Triple, uh, triple canopy. And then they went and put their hands on me. And then they, yeah, they grabbed me. Dude, this guy right here, this freaking clown right here, comes out aggressive, hollering uh, orders at me, unlawful orders. And then he wants to come and, and grab my arm and grab my camera. My camera got all messed up. No, looks fine to me. Well, actually, this gimbal is very touchy. When you touch it, when it's on the gimbal, it breaks. Yeah. I've already, yeah. I've already yes. replaced one of these for people doing stuff like that. Yeah. So they call the cops on us immediately. Yeah, I'm calling. I'm calling too because you're recording me. Dude, yeah. you're yeah. in public, yeah. man. This guy's. Yeah. This guy's yeah. yeah. calling the police yeah. on me yeah. because I'm recording something? him. About what we're talking about. There is this right here. Okay. Let me see. see? Get Personal electronic devices may not be used. To take photographs or make video recordings. That's just a, that's not a CFR it though. Matter. Yes, that's just, no, and just a piece of paper. It Anyone matter. can write, you can write, Where no else can you not to do it and you're still doing it? That's a, that's not a law, sir. That's just a piece this of paper. This is posted by the Social Security that's Administration. That's not a law. It's not a law, sir. It doesn't have to be a law. Yes, it does have to be a law. Does not. We know what you we're doing, man. Are inside. It has to be a law. Doesn't it's matter. just a piece of paper. It's not a CFR. Doesn't matter. Trust me, I've done my research before we came in here. We know what we're doing. Yeah, we're because gonna find this out. Is federal property. Okay, so you're, okay. The here's so what's gonna happen. Man. policies and everything, you gotta abide by those. Okay? okay. No, we don't have to use CFR. We don't have to abide by it. I abide by the law. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. There's one of two things. Bye. Okay. Your job is to observe and report, that's it. You don't put your hands on free members of the public unless I commit a crime and I'm not committing crimes. I already told you you cannot come in. And I already told you, bud. I already told you. This is the law. You're enforcing a feeling and a policy. Not a law, bud. Don't put your hands on me. I didn't put my hands on Yes, you did. So, your knees? Clown. Do better, man. Learn your jobs. To observe and report. You don't put your hand. You have no authority over free Americans whatsoever. You're not a police officer, dunce. So we got Dean Williams, derelict Williams. There, clown. Don't put your hands on me, bud. Dummy. Don't don't even try. Oh, look at these guys. Damn. Dang. Look at his. Did you see his face? I Looked like he wanted to just come through here and start punching Sweet Tea. Yeah, I wanted this guy thinks that this guy thinks this is his building, like this is private property, man. He owns it. This guy right here, Williams. Williams gave Sweet Tea the look of death, man, like he was gonna punch her. Oh, here they go, Littleton Police. I don't know if Littleton Police has jurisdiction here or if it's supposed to be the uh, the federal police, but here we go, guys. Police are here. Let's go to the side. There. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you gotta push the doorbell from the side. Okay. Uh, we'll let you know in a second, man. We're at the right now. Go. Touchy feely Williams here. Mr. Hands on Tyrant thinks he's a police officer, has authority over free members of the public, man. Disgrace, bud. Disgrace. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn, man. Either today or, or later, a couple months, when I sue you. Power in the clown suit right here, guys. Thinks he can grab and touch people. Oh, and he's gonna push the door on me. Dummy. You gonna open the door to try to hit me all aggressively like that? Dummy. Guy's an idiot, man. Guy's a straight coward in a clown suit right there, man. Same with Chavez. I thought Chavez was the worst one, but this guy's actually the worst one. He's gonna go home and kick his dog tonight, probably. He 
because people are in here free Americans. You gonna kick your dog tonight, bro, or beat your wife? What are you gonna do, bud, to get out your frustration? Since you can't put your hands on us, you know, beat your dog. You gonna go try to drown your goldfish? What are you gonna do, man? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Get out! Get out! Get out! We already told you, man. We already told you. you cannot be recording in here, man. Come on. Come on. Don't touch me. Do That's it twice now. I didn't touch you. Yeah, you move did. your foot. Move your foot. Move your foot. I need you to move that foot, or it's gonna get slammed. You're gonna assault me. Sorry, gotta close the door. Uh, folks, if you could stay on that side for me, uh, we're at full capacity right now, so just give it a second. Oh, here. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hi. Excuse me. Thank you. No so we got another uh, police officer here, guys, for backup. So. Hi. Oh, there's Geyser. Remember Geyser, guys? The guy that wanted to, to grab my cam, grab my monopod. Yeah, She's also wanted to go touchy feely on me. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, what are you doing? I um, would like to see your hey, face. Hey, don't touch my camera. What are you can doing, you lady? Move, can you push it aside? So don't can touch see my your camera. Face. Name and badge number. Can I see your Name face? Name and badge number. Can I see Name your face? Name and badge number. Can I see your Name face? Name and badge number. Can I see Name and badge number. You guys might have saw that video where she uh, wanted to see my and face. She wanted to see my face so she thinks that she can come up and grab my, my uh, tripod. Hey, uh, we're here guys, we're holding our ground. Uh, so everybody's coming in, we're, like I said, it's going to go one of two ways. The police officers are going to do their job correctly and tell these uh, security guards and employees that there's nothing they can do. And we're going to come in here and do a tour. Or they're going to tell us we have to leave. And we're not going to leave. So the only way that we're leaving by force is in handcuffs. So how come the cops don't have to wear masks? Is that like a selective uh, policy you got there? Like certain people don't have to? So Williams, is that like selective or what? Chavez, tyrant, tyrant's right here, guys. Coward in the clown suit right there. Thinks he has authority over me. You don't have authority over me, Williams. You know how many complaints you're gonna get, Williams? Thousands of people have already watched this. You're gonna have hundreds of thousands of people that are gonna see this, man. They're gonna see your conduct. They're gonna see the way you treat free members of the public. You don't have authority over me to put your hands on me. That's a crime. You're committing crimes in here. You're gonna get so many complaints, man. You're famous now. You're already famous. How you doing? I'm going to advise you once again, since you know your Federal Amendment auditors, you know the GSA policy for federal property. If you'd like, you can go ahead and read it in a highlighted area. You cannot record because of special circumstances, regulations, which you were briefed outside before entering the facility because people's personal information. You were also briefed inside before you were attempting to enter the facility. You won, as you did, you photographed, you cannot record. You also uh, saw here, you cannot record inside and we are briefed more than once you cannot record inside the federal facility because social security because people have their personal information social security numbers and so on so again we would ask that you leave the facility outside you can record photograph all you'd like okay guys so what he's trying to show me here is 41 cfr 102-74.420 which is the same cfr that i'm referencing this entire time and i'm referencing subsection c building entrances lobbies foyers corridors or auditoriums for news purposes and the part that he highlighted that he's showing me is the top part where it says except where security regulations rules orders or directives apply or a federal court order or rule prohibits it there's no part of the cfr that says the security guard can give me a verbal directive he's showing me the part of the cfr that says if there's a regulation rule or order then i can't record but he's not showing me the actual regulation rule or order he's only giving me a verbal directive Another piece that people get caught up on is subsection A and B, where it says space occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying agency concerned. In the very beginning, guys, space occupied by a tenant. 
That's not where I was. I am in the lo the lobby, right? I am not in a space occupied by a tenant. That's the area behind the glass, the restricted area, guys. Okay, so yes, you have to have permission to go back there. So that would be like recording in a police station lobby and them trying to trespass me out of there because there's a restricted area behind the glass that I'm not in. You see what I'm saying? So these are the types of things that we're gonna be arguing in court. Then we have here the Social Security Administration's policy. And it says right in the beginning, a person may audio record his or her telephone or in-person contact or interview with Social Security Administration personnel. And then on the bottom though, it says, photography and video recording are prohibited in federal space without the permission of the tenant agency. And then it has the CFR there again. Again, guys, the highlighted area, federal space. I wasn't in the federal space. You gotta pay attention to this kind of stuff. The federal space is the area behind the glass that they're working in. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna be able to go back there and record. So um, this is from their own policy, guys. All right, let's get back to it. So I got a question for you. Let's say you're, let's give you the benefit of the doubt and say that that's lawful and that I can't record in there. Does that give you authority to grab me, shove me? Yes, because no, it doesn't. Yes, because we asked you, and this is again, property, and we asked you to leave, and you did not wish to so, leave. So you're asking me to leave? I did. I asked you. Okay. I'm asking you to give me five bucks. Can you give me okay. five bucks? Okay. I, I have That's a it? Policy. Okay, thank you. I have my own policy that everyone I talk to has okay. to give me five bucks. It gets me unlawful directives. So that's that's how it goes, guys. All right, guys. So let's see if they're gonna arrest us. Then we'll see what happens. Are they bluffing or are they serious? Because I'm not bluffing. You're trying to bully me, man. You're trying to bully me. You're not gonna bully us. You're in the way. You're in the way of the door. Okay, we can come you're in the way of my rights, man. That's what you're in the way of. Thanks. Think you can assault me to enforce a policy, man? What is AFA saying on this? AFA's with us. Okay. We have a lawful right to be here, guys. Do you need to take that outside, sir? Fix that outside. Don't. What are you doing? You can't block my camera, man. Yes, I can. I actually have the law here, sir. U.S. Title Code 102-74.420, which states that we are allowed to record for news purposes in the, the in the foyer and the hallways. So it looks like the, this guy is not. They got uh, the DHS here, guys. Looks like he's already given me uh, unlawful orders. So it looks like it's probably going to be an arrest, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed to Accountability for All yet, make sure you do that. So we got a second DHS officer, guys, or inspector, I should say. Hold on. How are you doing? Hi. Well, we could be doing better. To be honest. Yes, what? Well, I mean, we came into a public building that we pay for to uh, do a story here, uh -huh. and uh, Title US Code 102-74.420 allows us, uh, for news purposes, to come into this public facility and record in the foyers and the hallways. We wanted to get some, some uh, pictures and some pamphlets and stuff like that for our story. We would probably have been gone at least a half hour ago, to be honest with you. Uh, we got assaulted by both of these security guards, but went hands on on me. So I want to question. inside the... We're in this foyer. We've been in the foyer. Okay. All right, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, let me see what these guys are. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. okay. All right. Guys. Can I get name and badge numbers? I need cards, please. Geyser, Geyser, I need your card. Geyser. Hello? Okay, so they just ignore us. So we'll be uh, filing a complaint on Geyser and that guy for just ignoring us. They came here for us. They have to identify themselves. Hello, guys. Hi. All right, where were we? Yeah, where so we where we were was that uh, I had, I was reciting you the law. So uh, it's titled US Code. U.S. Title Code 102-74.420, which states that we have a lawful right to, it's, it's a 2018 memo, Department of Homeland Security, that states that for news purposes, we can come into the public accessible areas and record. So that's what we came here to do. We came here to get some pamphlets and information. They have public information in here. We're not here to get people's social security numbers, but we, we got oh, assaulted sure. by both of these guys. So well, we I just watched the video and yeah. there wasn't an assault. There wasn't an assault? Did you find that assault to me? No. Nope. Hey, no. Nope. Nope. Hey, don't talk to me!
Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Well, it's, it's not assault in Colorado. It would be, it, in most states, it would be battery, but uh, there is no battery in Colorado, so it would be like uh, either harassment or menacing. To put hands on a, a, another free American, an individual, and shove them into the corner over here. Well, I watched the video, and that's not the impression that I got at all, but what I will do is make sure that your contention gets into the report that we're going to type up for this. Okay, and then we'll also attach the video and we can, you know, if it comes to that, we can, can see who decides what. Well. But uh, it looked to me like he was just, you know, kind of pointing towards the door. It wasn't violent at all, you know, so. Back up, don't touch me, bud, what are you doing? Hey! Oh! Uh, anyway, I'm going to give you a copy of the CFR, the Code of Federal Regulations that talks about um, where you can film and where you can't and when you need the tenant's permission and when you don't. I'm going to give you guys a copy of that so you have it for your reference today and moving forward. Um, also, the secure space in this building starts at that door, okay? It's not this door. This is just kind of a, I guess, an air conditioning buffer, if you will, like a climate control buffer. The actual controlled space for this facility starts at that door. That's the door that locks and whatnot, okay? So this sign applies to this area. Um, I have spoken with the facility manager and he is perfectly okay with you guys being here. He doesn't feel that there's any conversation that could be compromised, you know, per people's personal business or PII information that could be compromised by you guys being in the lobby. And we're okay with that. If you guys want to stay out here, um, we're not going to give you a hard time at all. You can stay here until they close. Don't care. Okay? The problem we'll have is if you try to come inside where you can hear conversations taking place and uh, potentially see information. Okay? So here, we're not going to bother you a bit. Can I get your name, an inspector? Your yeah, name? my name is Doug Wiles. I'm the commander for this area. And my badge number is 889. You have a business card? Sadly, I don't, but I'll give you that information. Um, I usually do have a business card, but I just put it in a backpack on the plane I got up yet, and off of it. Forgot to take them out and put them in my pocket. So, so I got a question for that. you. Sure. Uh, did you, swear, you guys want this? Did you swear an oath at the Constitution when you took your job as the inspector as the, at the DHS? Of so, I did. So, so are you going to honor your oath then? Because preventing us from coming in here is not honoring your oath. No, you can come in here if you have business to conduct. I do have business. I do have but you cannot conduct. come in here and record. Yes, That's I can. specific with yes, all SSAs across the country. I can come in here and record. According to the 2018 memo, sir, I just gave you the law. According to that sign right here in the law that I'm trying to give you, but you're refusing no, to no, no. take. No, that's no, that's This that is not a law. Sign, that is a sign that, that has no law. is referencing this document. Now, if you choose not to take it, that's fine with me. But I'll take it. There you go. Um, it is prohibited inside this facility. We're not going to allow that. We will allow you to be out here. I don't know what more of a, how much nicer I can be about it. Do you? And let's be clear, we're not here to interview me about my training in history. That's not why we're here. I'm here to try to find some amicable solution to this situation. I think I've been very generous and forthcoming with you about what we will accept and what we won't accept. And so, uh, hopefully you're agreeable to that and we don't have any further issue. Yeah, you've been super cordial and respectful as you violated our rights, man. So, yeah. How did I, mean, I you want it, that's if that's what you want. Well, you're prevent saying that you're going to arrest us if we go into this building, sir. That's not lawful. Well, I haven't said that, have well, I? Well, let me ask you then. Are you going to arrest us if we go in there? Well, I don't know about that. There's definitely, if you violate that law and the law I just gave you, there's going to be some sort of consequence for that. I would probably, probably like to get the advice, the advice of the U.S. Attorney's Office and see we could arrest you for that. Sometimes, you know, they think maybe it's a better idea to write a ticket. I'm fine with that. Um, in either case, if we had to do that, what we would do is take all your equipment as evidence, and I don't want to have to do that. Um, so hopefully it doesn't come to that. We wanted to get some of these brochures that were in here. I needed to get some for the people that I work with, and I'm being refused. I just wanted to show documenting that I'm getting those brochures. Oh, I want you to have those brochures, however, you cannot take that camera and record inside this facility. That won't happen. So I can take my phone in though, right? Because everybody else has their phone. As long as you're not recording. Yeah, not that's, that's not true, sir. That's not true. That is true. And this isn't the time and place to argue it. I'm telling you right now, 
that I'm not going to allow you to film beyond this door. I'm already allowing you to film beyond that door. You're not allowing me allowed. to do anything, sir. I have a lawful right to be here. No, you're I'm not allowing me. You're not giving me permission to exercise my First Amendment right, sir. That's See that true. sign, which references federal law, which I just gave you a copy of. Yeah. So, okay. so that's if there's like a chief judge's order, if there's a courthouse or something like that, sir. Or, keep reading. Obviously, the chief judge or a judge has the ability to mandate that you can't do that. Oh, look, it's KDOT. What's up, bro? Come on in here, man. May I get a card? Come on in, bro. He said we're allowed to be in the foyer, at least. Huh? He said we're allowed to be in the foyer, but he's saying that well, we're actually, not, we're not, not allowed. We're allowed to be. Oh, he's giving us permission to be in this little area later. Can I get your name back real quick? Yeah, you can ask him. I already gave it to no, him. I'm I'm I have to keep repeating I'm, myself. I'm, let's be polite. I am. Policy. Let's go. My Bad name is Doug Wiles, and my badge number is 889. Thank you. There we go. That's more but polite. Let me just tell you, as I told him, I'm not here to be interviewed by you. I have no intention of Could doing give that. Give a damn. Okay. You could give it down. I just want to establish it. Don't care. You work for me. Don't delete that picture that you What's your name and your badge? Oh, yeah, we need to get cards from you guys. And we're going to do a FOIA yeah, request everybody. on that picture. I don't have a card. Give me your name and badge number then. Everybody. You don't need it. What? You, just, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah I do need it. Sir, can you it's tell right me? That's not right there. No, it's right there. Your name's not right there. Your name is right there? Sir. Your name's not right there. No. So, it's your officer, policy. I need you to verbally identify. That, that's your name? Damn, I forgot, man. Sorry. Hey, What's your name? Are you going to keep it polite, cordial, or Well, this guy's not being polite or cordial at all. He came in, aggressive, put his hand in front of my camera, told me I need to leave. So now, all of a sudden, I don't need to leave. Now, all of a sudden, I can be here. Uh, Won't identify. He's an authoritarian, guys. Won't right. identify. He gave us his name. Yeah. He gave us Is that his illegal? Name? Is that a crime to say that? Free speech. First Amendment. Sorry. Freedom of speech. Did we agree we're going to keep it polite and cordial, though? I, we were, we were, you, did you give me your name? I did. You did. Why well, aren't you, you're the supervisor, wrong. right? I am. Okay, why aren't you training him to say his name and his badge number? That's he a bad representation of you. He gave you his badge number right there. No, I said his name and you, his badge number. You can understand that in this environment. His name and his badge number. Are you going to talk or are you going to listen for a moment? Well, I want, I want that done. Because first if you're, you're not going to listen to anything I have to say, there's no point in me talking. You're not going to do it anyway. Because you're, 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 you're part of the blue line. Right? Get out of here. Sir, may I get your name, please? God damn, you need to lose some weight. Fat yeah. And you like Quinn? Door, sir, we got somebody coming in. Yeah, no, Williams, right? Yeah, Williams. Yeah, he piece of wants to assault me. And then the DHS officer said that he watched the video. So they're not going to be filing charges. On, I knew that was going to happen. Uh -huh. name right here. No, no, don't try to cover up. Don't try to cover up. So we got DJ K on the party here, guys. Hey, y'all come in. Y'all come in. Back us up. Wish you would put your hands on me. Yeah. You think they have backup, huh? Guys. First time you guys have ever worked together, right? What's up, y'all? Dude, thanks for coming through to back us up, man. We appreciate it. I've never met him in person. This is awesome. So I've been on the job a long time. And sure. never once have I refused to give anybody my name and badge number because I feel that's their right. They've interacted with me. All right. I ho hopefully will know who they are at the end of the interaction. They should have a right to know who I am. I fully agree with that. Right. The, the concern is, is that um, people take that information and they use it against me or my family or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Not it's my badge number. You guys do that to us. Put my name out there, you know. What's your policy you though? You have to. Scared. You knew that your policy so, when you took your job. Well, you have to right, identify. Right. And means. you should have told those other officers to identify well, instead of saying I'm not gonna it's right there. I'm not going to admonish my officers in front of you and your however many thousand you viewers. Have you it would have been nice if you uh, would have told your officers, hey, when a citizen comes up. up What's up? You, you want to talk? Go ahead. No, we'll talk about that, my officers and I. We don't do that publicly. Okay. So I'm going to let you know. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get beyond this because I want to get to the, the good thank part. You, I'm going to go in here. So are you going to arrest me or yes. what's going to happen? Huh? If you go in there, I'm going to take your camera as evidence and I'm going to write you a ticket. And depending on your behavior at that point, you may or may not get arrested. I don't want to arrest you. I don't want to write you a and, ticket. And see, what he, are we not allowed to get your name? I'm giving it to both of these guys. Can you just get it from them? No. Why can't yeah, you so just say what? But I have a serious. Now, May I, I like please to... finish? It's not. You know what? You act like 
this is just too much or an that's inconvenience to you. Where are those at? I'm, I'm trying to one. get legitimate the information. Over here. Officer number 835 was taking pictures of us. So I need Excuse to me, know what his name is. We want the point. We're going to go in here. We're going to go in. What a jerk. No respect whatsoever for women. Holy shit. Chili's here. Oh shit, guys. Chili's here. Oh shit. The Lee Laws is here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. What about you? Are you going to go in? Am I, am, I allowed, am I allowed to go in? They're saying no. Am I allowed to, am I, am I not allowed to come in? How come? Wow. Okay. okay. They're not letting you in? I can't. I can't open the door. Just, I, I can't. Why, why can't I come in? That's crazy. But, but the camera is my First Amendment right. I, I have the First Amendment right. So. Not everyone wants to be filmed. Why don't you ask? Stop. 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 Stop.
okay. all about their pride and value. If, if you just uphold our rights, we'll leave. What would you, how do you see this? Because we have a right to film anywhere that a federally funded building exists. That's and we can film in here. You can follow it. You have yeah, you restricted areas here. This is one of them. What, inside the lobby here? Does this it is say not a lobby. Inside the lobby? Oh, this, this is not a lobby? A foyer. This oh. is not a lobby. Oh, what is this then? This is a waiting area where there's PI. It's a lobby. Lobby. It's a lobby. It's a lobby. It says Clara's Day in the lobby. We can film. Yeah, this is not a lobby. Why would you die on this access. hill? Because, by the way, we don't have to get arrested I'm to not. sue you. There's nothing that says. Do what you will. You're going to be sued. I'm trying to accommodate. I, look, I've already allowed you to be in here. Uh, you don't allow me shit. I have a right to be here. have to do that. You don't want to You And you know what? I'll go with you willingly. You don't even have to. to, to you, I'll, I'll go with you. Arrest me so I can have standing to sue your ass and get rid of this bullshit. I don't want to arrest you. Yeah, because you know why? Because you're really actually not even a real cop. So you're not even a real peace officer. So you're fake. For you to discuss? You're fake. Fake. You should uphold. let us go in and we'll leave. We'll film around here and then we'll get out. Put all your cameras follow. down. Come in and get your cameras to go. You don't have business in this facility. I this, do not is have this is my business. Okay. This is his job. And you can do it from right here. I'm a, no, I can do it from in there and I'm going to go in there. I'm going in there. Can I get your car? I'm going in there. 889. Real quick. Seriously. Real quick. Seriously. I need an EMS. Seriously. I don't have a phone. I don't have a phone. See? No phone. No phone. I'm a... Hey, I, I ain't got no phone. No phone. Well, you, you come in. I ain't got no you phone. Mask with you? Well, who do you get I, to? I, I ain't got no phone. Okay, I'm allowed fine. in. Okay, that's fine. Yes, I know. You you're allowed in. Open the door. I, but you have to wear open the mask when coming in. Why did the police didn't wear no phone? No, no, where, where's your phone? I saw you had it in your hand. I don't have. A you phone. can bring a phone in. Yeah. You just can't record yes. what you're saying. Exactly. You can have a exactly. phone. Yeah. Come on. Well, what are you, what are you, what are you, you better watch him close. Hey, you, wear mask on. you have to wear it. How come DHS didn't have to wear it? So, what business do you are conducting? Why, why does DHS I'm asking you, what business are you why conducting here in the facility? Answer that. I'll, I'll answer your. I'll be more than happy to answer your question if you can answer my right. question. My job is to ask you, not them. Yeah, that's your job. Where we're yes. to say that you're supposed to. Okay. Ask so you. again, what business are you are you conducting? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna need a complaint form. That's what I need. Okay. So, you have, for the complaint form, unfortunately, we don't have it. You can call the 800 number. Right Supervisor, where's that? At? So again, he has a right to go in there, man. He's American. Okay. He has a right to go in the social security office. Yes, if he has business. Yes. His business is Where's observing the, the office. That's business. Okay. Where's the supervisor? Okay, right then wait outside and I'll make sure and try to get in touch with him so they can so come see me. He has every right no, no. to walk in. I just want you right here. Did you almost. Did you okay. not listen to him? Yes, I am. Okay. Dude, okay. he has every right okay. to walk okay. in. This guy's slamming on the windows now. He has every right to walk okay. in. So that's a lie. No, they didn't. He has He's every right to walk in. He's lying. I'm right outside. We'll get the supervisor. He has every yes. right to Thank walk in there. Are you getting your supervisor? Sure, I'll what contact are you guys him. Doing? Like, contact him. Okay, okay. What are you doing? Wait outside? No, I, I'm allowed to be in the building. No, no you're not. No, you're not. I'm not conducting any business. I don't have to tell you that. You have to do. Where does it say I have to tell you that? Why is he surrounded by cops? If you don't have legal business, bro, you try. You try. Let him walk. Excuse me, sir. We also have somebody else trying to come in. I got somebody coming in. Need you. Who's actually conducting some security business? Look, look at that, the door's open, no one's rushing no, in. No, look at that, no. nobody's rushing in. I'm still at this, I'm standing right next to you, I'm not rushing in, am I? You, you come on in. You see that? Am I forcing my way in around you? No, I'm not. You come on in. No, I'm not. Don't, don't, get, get, move your foot. Why you Seriously, in? why Why are you blocking the egress, man? He's just standing. There's no one coming in. Hey, move it, come on. You're literally blocking the egress. You can't be doing that. There's another door right here. Somewhere. There's another door. As soon as someone comes it in, doesn't I'll move. matter. Someone comes in, I'll move. No, I'm not move, going move in your there. foot, dude. Move, you need to move your yeah. foot. Why does he have to move his foot? Because There's he's blocking door. the doorway. It's control, dude. Leave him alone. He's not entering. You said don't enter. He's not entering. Leave him alone. He's outside of the door. He's outside of the door, William. He's outside, outside of the door, bud. Don't be a tyrant. Don't try to put your hands on me, man. Just back down. I did not want to put my hands on you. Yeah, well, you already put your hands on me twice. I did not. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Okay, this security cam footage is going to show it, too. It will. Just, he's not entering. Leave him alone. Not entering, bud. Put your pride in you. Sir, please move your foot. You're letting the air conditioning out. Oh, forget it. Move your foot, please. You don't, we're not entitled to air conditioning? Please move your foot. I'm not moving my foot. 
Please move your foot. I'm not moving my foot. He said we're letting the air condition. We're outside. He told us this is you're not. To you're me. enforcing we're your feelings. Right, but I need to you're close this door. Your feelings right you don't now. need to close the door. He said it. Take it again, Denver. You're enforcing not my feelings. your feelings. You're not feelings. You're a law enforcement officer. How is he hurting anybody? He's blocking the door. He's not blocking. There's nobody coming in. If someone comes, we'll get out of the way. Why do you have to control everything? No, you, you guys are twisting the language. No, no, my friend, you are not upholding your oath to the Constitution. The you, are, you are failing. You're failing your family. You're no, failing I'm not. America. No, I'm not. You are a failure no, right I'm now. Not. Where's no, your mask at? Look at you. You I, want to control I, I, his I foot. I already uh, okay, did everything for my country oh, you and, my, did? and my family. So then you're so stopping. I'm not failing anybody. So not now you're anybody. done? You don't need to do anything? You don't have to I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. You're violating this man's First Amendment right to film inside of a publicly funded building. There is signs posted. No photography. Okay, you guys, you guys are violating the, 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 you guys are violating the policy. Policy? We're violating the policy? Yeah. You just admitted that that's a policy. You're not a policy enforcement right. officer. This is a You're federal a agency. Officer. Federal agencies have policies, and we enforce but policies those policies. Policies aren't laws. Yes, policy is not a law. It's a federal law. You are embarrassing well, you just, you just, just, uh, You said it's a federal law, but you just said it's a, it's a policy. So which is it? It's a federal policy that's enforced by a federal law. So the policy is enforced by the federal law? Policy? There would just be a law. There wouldn't be a law to enforce the policy. Denver's nailing this. You're okay. nailing it, Denver. You're right, man? Come on, dude. You're you need to do better, man. This is ridiculous. This you is guys, not what we need. You guys can try and twist it all you want. Saying. He's telling you the truth, sir. Well, He's speaking truth. You're twisting the language. And you know what another thing, sir, is that me having my foot right here is not a crime. I'm not committing a crime. I didn't say you were. Then that, they just did leave I me alone. Then why don't you, you turn around and go back in there? He said this is our area. This is our area. Yeah. We're not rushing in. If we rush in, you're going to arrest us, right? If we come rushing in, we're going to go under arrest. Is that correct? Sir, can you answer the question? Oh, oh, look at this guy. Oh my God. I'm opening the door for him. I asked you, 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 I've asked you several times that the doesn't care what you ask. Hey, I opened the door for you. Let him open the door. Dude, what's your deal, man? Come on out, brother. Come on out. No one's going to go rushing in. He's going to come on out. For the love of God. Right in ego, man. Listen, let me explain something to you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask him a question. This is an important question. If we walk in right now with our camera rolling, are you going to arrest us? If I, no, if, I, if I walk in right now, which I'm not doing, if I do it though, are you going to arrest me? You're basically me? inside already. Are you going to arrest me if you're I walk in? You're basically inside already because you're filming you're, you're inside. On the but these are glass button. windows. These are made out of glass. They're not they're made out of steel button. and they're not... Uh, Right, where you we can, can see, see through them. them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're basically so we can film, already in. No, we can film can. anywhere in a lobby. Okay. So if I come in right now, are you going to arrest me? I should have arrested you two hours ago. Oh, really? For what? But you're not. Because you, you, know you know why? Because you know you'll be listed in 1983 and I'll sue your ass. Well, That's why you, you didn't do it. Threaten to sue me. Oh, no, I'm not you're threatening. Not I'm first. for real. You won't be I'm the for last. real, bro. You're not the first one. Well, then what's your problem? Let me walk in. If I walk in, are you going to arrest me? Yes or no? You can walk in without your phone and without. But if your I walk in with my phone, am I under arrest? Have legitimate you business. Just answer the question. If I walk in with my phone filming, are you going to arrest me? I'm going to ask you to leave. Yeah. So if I go walking in right here, right now. I'm just asking you. I'm, I'm, we're both if on the line. You, you can see the I line. I will ask you to leave. Right, so I'm trying you. to walk in. So I'm trying Are you to be, stop me? I'm trying to be courteous. You're going to physically stop me? Ask you. But you're not being courteous. I'm not trying to fucking, you're violating I'm, I'm your I'm not oath. trying to forcibly put my hands on you or do anything like that. I I'm need you to ask a question. I'm asking you politely. I'm asking you politely to uphold your oath. laws and the directions. This is a lobby. And the policy. This is a lobby. You're not following any of those. That's not a law. That's not, not following Your any policy is not law. Yes, Denver yes, Metro educated is. you. He yes, educated you perfectly. I couldn't even interrupt him. It was so perfect. He, he didn't educate me on anything. He told you that this is a policy, not a law. No. So, but I'm just saying, if I try to walk in right now, if I just try to push through you guys, are you going to arrest me? Well, yes or no? I would like for you not to do that. Yeah, but I just need to know the answer to the question. Would I be arrested simply for filming inside of here? Well, you would be charged with trespassing. I would be charged with trespassing for trespassing. filming. Perfect. Yeah. God bless you. Now lackluster is correct. Now we have standing. You just violated my entrance into a federal building, violating my First no, Amendment right. If you have you legitimate my business, right. you can come in. If you have legitimate Watch business. Right. Is he gonna lose his mind? I think they are. Chavez, is your uh, supervisor on the way? He says he's gonna get back to you, making sure he can get come out here. You heard me on the phone. I was calling him. Yeah, I mean. Uh oh no, the door's open. Oh no, look at him, his little dog. So you guys, this, this building closes at four, just so you know. Right. So, so, but here's the thing: is you guys are gonna face a lawsuit because what he just said and what you have done.
You have messed up today, my friend. Okay. You, do you have, you have his information? You have yes. all their information? So the building closes at 4. What time is it now? I don't know. I mean, are you sure you, hey, do you need to grab the door? Are you, are you scared? Do you need to grab the door? I don't want and to you guys have all been advised you can't film oh, into the Grab the door. So grab are you just staying here now for personal security? No, no I'm grabbing the door. door. Hey, you You're walking away? Okay, because when you leave, we're going to go in here. You mad as shit. You mad as shit. Yeah, walk your shame. Walk your bitch ass on in the back. Okay, should I go in? Here I go, guys. Ready? We're gonna arrest you, man. Ready? There you go. You're now under arrest. What are you arresting for? They're arresting. I'm under arrest, guys. Come back here. I'm under arrest. Come back here. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Come back here. Keep rolling your film. Arrest, Come back I'm under arrest, guys. I don't know how to shut this up. Help him up. There you go, guys. Wait. We're going to arrest you, man. You ready? All right. All right. We got DMA in here recording. What are you arresting for? They're arresting you guys. They're arresting him. Keep rolling, keep rolling your film. Keep rolling your film. They're arresting him. They're arresting him. Wow. Really? Go ahead. Can I go in? There you go, guys. Wait. They're going to arrest you, man. Be ready. What are you arresting him for? They're arresting him, guys. They're arresting him. Keep rolling. Keep rolling your film. Keep rolling your film. They're arresting him. They're arresting him. Excuse me, sir. We have a customer trying to come in. Sure. Let me open the door for them. Wow. Go ahead. Well, I can't. I mean, you arrested the man for simply filming. Way to go, Denver Metro Audits. Way to go, Denver Metro Audits. Way to go, dude. Way to go. What's your name? My name's Patriot Strong. Patriot Strong, right here, yes. He just came down. Tyrants in our country, man. That's where we're. That's why we're where we're at. Yes, it's sir. The tyranny, and it's done. If we stand up, we all show up here, and we start doing our job. We will take our country back from the tyrants. There we go. Man. Up in upper government, federal government, and it starts here. Patriot right. Strong. So I'm here to support it, guys. Shout out to him, man. I don't even have a channel, yeah. and I'm here to support it. There we go. Oh, damn, you can't even follow directions. How are you guys? Yeah, how are you? Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm more tired. I can see the young cops. They signed up for... The table is mini for one man? I mean, it's one guy. One free American. One guy. What? Are you going to straighten all this out? Oh, we got more. Back here. This is the new one. That chick. I mean, you're, you're a handsome devil. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's a good looking, good looking gentleman here. And they all call me gay anyway, so... But are you going to straighten this out, sir? There's, I mean, there's a thousand people watching. Are you going to straighten this out? Your, your name is uh, K.M. Draper. This is K.M. Draper. Which agency are you with, sir? What is it? What's your name and badge number? Can you tell me that? Okay. Thank you. Well, are you here to straighten all this out? Are you going to tell them that he had a right to film inside of there? You did swear to uphold the Constitution. Sir? You did swear an oath to uphold the Constitution? When you, when you held up your hand to be a peace officer and you sign your certificate? Oh, the Constitution don't matter no more, dude. That's why we're here. And That's not... why we gotta worry about these fools. Can you, just identify yourself? Can you just identify yourself? Would that be okay? Isn't it your policy, Deputy Sheriff of uh, Arapahoe County, Colorado? Don't you have to identify yourself according to your yes, policy? Thank you. I'm just asking you to identify yourself. Dude, they're gonna make memes of you if you don't. There's so many people who watch this. They'll make a meme of you. They'll, as you're all stoic like this, they'll, they'll tip as you're perfect and they'll meme you. I've done this for a long time, man. They'll, they'll meme you. Just be cordial, dude. Be, be, be a public servant. Be a good public servant. Excuse me? I mean, why are you even here? We're non-violent journalists. Nobody here has a violent... I don't have a violent record. She doesn't have a violent record. He doesn't. None of us are violent. There's no violent... There's no violence here. Are you going to answer, sir? There's 1,100 people watching. Just tell us, are you here to uphold our rights? K.M. Draper of Arapahoe County, Colorado. If General Metro gets walked out of your cuffs, they're not upholding our rights. 
If you allow them to arrest him for filming inside of here, you're not upholding your oath to the Constitution. Come on, dude, we're about the same age. You can act like a normal guy with me. We, we can at least have a conversation here, dude. That's it? Is it your policy to identify yourself? Dude, how much do you hate this job? How much do you hate this job? How much has this job turned to dog poop? How, how bad is it doing this job now? Seriously, how awful is it? Seriously, how terrible is it? You can read the comments. I mean, how terrible is it doing this job? Because you guys aren't doing what you're supposed to do, upholding our oath to the Constitution. So you have regular Americans like me and, and DJ here, and we're out on the scene now, calling you guys out for not upholding your oath. If, if, if you just upheld your oath, none of this would be happening. You could go in and stop this. You're, so, you're, you're the sheriff, so you're the highest ranking uh, official, I guess. I guess Homeland Security be over you? Uh, we got another one. Another one. Man, there's all these people with cameras. We're going to get guys with guns here quick. We're going to get guys with guns here. How you doing? Hey, sir. Hey, Not you too bad. Good. Identify yourself for us. Yeah, Corporal Schmidt, Littleton Police, 2404. How you doing, Corporal Smith? Oh, Good Schmidt. To see you. So, are you gonna are you gonna go in there and tell them to release this man who simply filmed inside of a lobby? It's mm -hmm. in your policy that we can film inside the lobby. You're the corporal, right? So you're the highest ranking. Well, I'm not with DHS, so. Well, can you go talk to DHS about releasing this man? I don't even know what's going on yet. Well, let me tell you. Come on in. Listen, I'm not going to admit to you, dude. Uh, if, you're, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. So, um, Denver Metro Audits came here. That's what we do. Right. We audit different buildings, state and federal, and public buildings like libraries. Okay. And we see, we stress test our First Amendment rights. That's what we do. Right. Because if you don't stress test your rights, you don't have any rights. So, he, we came in here to film, and when they, they put an imaginary line of constitutional uh, void, they, they voided our Constitution past this line. They voided it. Right. You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. So all Denver Metro audits did was walk past this line right here, walk in here, and they placed him under arrest. All right. What do you think? I really have your perspective, so let me find out what's going on with these guys. Okay, thank you. What's your handle on YouTube? Uh, it's Delete Laws. I got a card for you. I'll, I'll go grab one. I'll give it to you. It's delete laws. I'll give you my card though. Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna be on there, man. You're and this guy. I mean, I thought it was their policy Thank to identify you so yourself. You I don't understand. Maybe off. strong silent type, maybe. It's pretty dashing. He's da I mean, that's why I said he's dashing, right? He's a good-looking man. God damn, that's so so many of y'all. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you, sir? Doing all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go in again. Can't you mind if I get your name and your badge number real quick? Uh, I'm Officer Borrego with Littleton Police, badge number 1806. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. How you doing, man? Officer Young, 2106. Uh -huh. Appreciate that. And you look young. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, right? And you look young. See, that's all you had. You see how professional they was? And you see how much of a piece of shit you are? Okay, guys, so I want to point out the difference in the conduct between Littleton and Arapahoe County right here. It's like night and day. The Littleton police officers come in, identify with a smile on their face, end of discussion, no big deal. But the Arapahoe County guy, which is field training officer K.M. Draper, wouldn't even engage in a conversation with KDOT or Chili. And when I was in handcuffs and Draper was back there, the arresting officer, Commander Doug Wiles, asked Draper if he had ever dealt with First Amendment auditors before. And his response was, I just don't talk to them. I just don't talk to them, guys. That's what he does to members of the public just because they have a camera. And it's a disgrace. It's absolutely unacceptable. And Littleton does a good job most of the time, but remember in the beginning of this video, Corporal Martins and Officer Geyser did a bad job. They just completely walked away and ignored me. And it's just bad training, guys. I mean, Arapahoe County did a bad job here. And, and Arapahoe County has done a good job in the past, and I've praised them for that, but they didn't do a good job here. And even when I called dispatch to get the officers uh, or deputies' name and badge numbers, I spoke with Bree, who was totally rude to me, guys. Totally rude and wouldn't give me the information I needed. So now I have to go down there tomorrow to get the names and badge numbers of the other deputies that I didn't get. Um, and then the same thing with Littleton too though, guys. I called down there and spoke with Kat from Dispatch uh, just to get the spelling of Borrego's name. And she tried to tell me that I have to have a reason. What's the reason you need the name and badge numbers? Because of officer safety. 
So I, I shut that down real quick and she did give me uh, the name, but that's just poor training, guys. We need to be able to not have a veil on getting this public information. And I shouldn't have to drive down to Arapahoe County to do a public records request on a police officer's name because he didn't want to give it to me. So that's wasting more resources. It's wasting more time. It's wasting more tax dollars because they want to be stubborn and not identify. All right, guys, let's get back Thank to you it. So much. You guys know Mexican long hair? Who? Mexican long hair? Mexican hotter. Puzzles. Oh, I just... Puzzles. How do you know Mexican long hair? He was uh, hanging out with, uh, what's her name? Oh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, and if it's... What's the gal that does all the homeless outreach? Yeah, make sure you put that. that uh, quite a few. Of them. Well, yeah. I salute them people too, by the way. She's pretty. She's usually been Inglewood. I can't think of her name. I mean, a person who's doing homeless outreach. I mean, seems like a good she person. She does first me. amendment auditing too. I'm sorry. She does first amendment auditing too. Okay. I can't think of her name. Regan. Regan. Oh. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, so I knew Mexican long hair. That's from oh, her video. Okay. Uh, really? Uh, At least good. Box. I know you look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look great. <laughs> How's it going, guys? You too, brother. Hi, are you guys good? You guys can leave now? Yeah. Like, we're not big threats. We're not doing anything crazy. Well, I just anything. gotta go type a report and my supervisor. Damn, yeah. that's a waste of. Uh, come on, ain't nobody yeah. did no crime, man. Right, that's like, crazy. You guys yeah. take care, alright? Just take care. Alright, brother. Have hey, thanks. obviously, you're young. You stay young, son. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Okay guys, real quick, I wanna give a shout out to Corporal Schmidt who did an excellent job in my opinion and also his officers, Borrego and Young who also did a great job. And even though I did get a ticket, this is not Littleton's jurisdiction. So Corporal Schmidt, thank you for engaging in a conversation with Sweet Tea and KDOT. That's all we're asking. We're just free Americans exercising our First Amendment rights. And to be honest, it seems like you were on board with what we're doing from the interaction that you had with KDOT and what I heard. So we just wanna thank you guys. Thanks for doing a great job. Mm. All right, guys, so I was real excited to highlight Corporal Schmidt here, but I was going through some old footage and some old notes, and I realized who Corporal Schmidt is. Several months prior to the recording of this video, I was at the assessor's office, and Amanda Hack started taking pictures of me on her personal cell phone. I told her I was going to do a public records request, and she deleted the pictures off of her phone, which is a misdemeanor crime, CRS 18-8-114, abuse of public records. When I called Littleton Police Department, I spoke with Corporal Schmidt, who was totally rude and condescending to me. He kept referring to me as dude. I told him to call me sir. He said, I'm going to call you whatever I want to call you, and then he hung the phone up on me. So that was a complete fail. So I just wanted to give you guys all the information and I'll let you guys be the judge on whether he actually is a nice guy or whether this is just a dog and pony show for the camera. 1471 in there. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are yeah. so loyal to DMA. He is going to greatly appreciate this. This is going to mean so much to him, you guys. You have no idea. They're going to let him go. They're, they're going to they're gonna let him go. Okay. Right. They, what they said was that they're going to give him a ticket okay. and they're going to let him go on his own recognizant. Oh, there he is. There you go. Oh, Bust your first chair, bro. You just yeah. stood up for everybody. You took a ride for everybody. You took the charge for everybody. I have the officers' first and last names and their badge numbers for the federal civil rights line. If you want to proceed, yeah. Uh, I'm contacting my attorney as we leave here. Hey, what's up, guys? We tease chat. <laughs> Say hey. Yeah, but I have happier people over here. And I told you guys that we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do this because um, I'm here for you guys, man. This is our channel as a community. And when we come together and unite, this is how we affect Amen. change, guys. This Amen. is going to be uh, something that's going to be a staple and, and being able to come in here, guys, we're going, we're trying to create case law. Here. If you just go to my about section in my channel, in Denver, uh, the, all my links are there, guys, all my donation links. So if you would yeah. like to, yeah, five, ten five dollars, whatever, man, whatever yes. you can afford, a dollar, if that's all you can afford, yes. that helps too, guys. Yes. But I'm out here for you guys, we're out here for freedom, guys. That's what we're that's here for. Right. We're not here for fake freedom, which is what we have yeah. today. We want real, true freedom. Exactly. It's, it's much easier to go in there and take the arrest. Um, yeah, with you guys there backing me up than it is being here by myself. So. Right now, go donate 5, 10, 20, 50 bucks, whatever you got right this minute. He's going to need funds, and it won't be enough no matter how much you donate. So thanks. Yeah, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. What's up, Mark? 13 
sixty. Thirteen sixty. Okay. I know this Thank is the most you. I've Thank ever you had. Thank for coming into Sweet Tea's chat for my chat, guys. Yeah. Appreciate that, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea is my ride or die, guys. Yes, I am. Um, I got his back. Uh, one thousand. Back. I mean, this is my number one right here, guys. So, Thank, Thank you. you all You're my here, number guys. one too. Um, it means so much to you guys. So it's almost four guys. I, I say let's call it, man. Also, Chili, uh, you know, I support AFA. You know, that's my one of my best friends, but I don't get into drama, guys. I think we're we're better off as a community united than fighting each other yes. because it makes us look unorganized, and I don't like the drama, guys. So I don't get involved in it, but I support AFA as my yeah. friend. Um, thank you, Chili, for coming down. I've got nothing negative to say about anybody, man. I'm yeah. just here to support you. Right on. Appreciate you. So, how old is he? He's eight. You would, oh, yeah, you'd have to really. Aww. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's such a good. Guy. I've seen him on on your streams before. Okay, guys. So I just got out, and we got the ticket. They they gave me a ticket for um, looks like filming in the interior lobby of the Social Security Administration, and also fair, failure to comply with official signs and directives of Leo. So they want to violate my rights, guys. Um, so we'll see what uh, my attorney says about this whole situation. We will keep you in the loop. Had a subscriber come down. Thank you so much, man. That's a true patriot right there. Are true American. The Sweet Tea Audits. DJ K. Dot the Party. And we had special guest uh, Delete Laws. Chili DeCastro came hey, in buddy. here. Thanks for, thanks for having himself. me. Right on, guys. And remember, thank guys, forced patriotism is the opposite for? of freedom. I already told you, you cannot come in. I already told you, bud. I already told you.